let's talk about PC maintenance. Now, as a PC technician, you'll soon learn that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. In other words, it's a lot easier to prevent a problem than it is to try to respond and troubleshoot a problem after it's already happened. There's a number of things that you can do to keep your systems clean and functioning properly through routine maintenance. Let's take a look at some preventative maintenance measures that you can take. When we deploy PCs in a, in a work environment, a lot of folks like to try to tuck them out of the way where they're not, you know, really obvious. They'll put them, stuff them under their desks or they'll put them up on their desks behind uh, some other things. I saw one system at a, at a store, at a retail store, where they put it, the PC system underneath the checkout counter and that the, the people working the checkout counter had stacked uh, paper uh, bags for bagging uh, the, the stuff that people were buying on top of the systems. The problem with this is that you can sometimes cut off the airflow to the system. You need to make sure that you provide adequate ventilation for your computer systems. Don't block the air vents. Take a look at where your users have placed their systems. Can air get through the air ducts into the system to cool the components? That's really the big issue. If you block off the air, you can cut off the airflow and that causes the system to overheat and then components start to go bad. The higher the temperature inside that case, the faster components go bad. Another thing that's really helpful, although it's not so much a performance issue, but it's just a cleanliness issue, is to keep the cables orderly. If you look at the back of a PC system in just about any given office, you'll see that there is a mess of cables coming off the PC. And while it doesn't necessarily degrade performance, it just looks cluttered. So I would recommend that you take some cable ties or some rubber bands and organize those cables in such a manner that they look clean and organized. And that can actually help you when you're troubleshooting problems. Instead of looking at this mess of cables going, oh man, where do I start? You can see what goes where. Now, an important point to remember is when you're organizing these cables, don't kink the cables. In other words, don't bend the cables too tightly. If you do, you run the risk of actually breaking the conductors that's inside the sheath of the cable. When that happens, you get all kinds of crazy performance problems because all of a sudden something works and then it doesn't work, and then it works and then it doesn't work. Okay? Try to keep your cables orderly and keep them unkinked. Another factor to keep in mind when you're thinking about PC maintenance is maintaining the environment where the PC is deployed. Now, depending on where you work, this may and may not be an issue. Basically, what we're trying to do is keep the environment as clean as possible to extend the life of the PC and reduce the number of problems we experience. For example, if you can, it's really best to keep the air where the PC is being used free of dust and smoke. Now, I had a friend who worked at a steel mill. He supported PCs there. And he said they had terrible problems because the air at the steel mill had a lot of dust and a lot of smoke in it. And those would, that air would get sucked into the PCs. That's bad enough in and of itself, but the problem was, was that the dust and the smoke was somewhat conductive because of the type of materials that were being uh, manipulated there at the steel mill. And so they would have short outs all the time in these PC systems. It was caused by the dust. In that situation, there wasn't much my friend could do to keep the, the, the environment clean. It's a steel mill. There's just, you know, that's just the way it is. So instead of worrying about that, he was more focused on keeping the systems cleaned regularly. Another issue when we're talking about the environmental quality where the PC is working is the temperature. Um, if you run a PC in a hot environment, the, internals, the internal temperature of the PC is, rises accordingly. The hotter the PC runs, the shorter the lifetime of the PC. Components degrade faster. If you can, it's best to keep the temperature in the environment where the PC is being used at around 70 degrees or so plus or minus 5 degrees. Between 65 and 75 is ideal. If you get above about 85 to 90 degrees external temperature, the internal temperature inside the PCs gets really hot and you see a corresponding degradation of the components inside. Um, along that line too, you also want to try to avoid, if you can, damp environments. Now, a little bit of humidity in the air is good for keeping static discharge down, but too much humidity can cause corrosion within the components. Now again, some of these factors may not be within your control, but if they are, try to keep the, the dampness down. There's something else you need to do, and I'm going to put this in right now, and that is you need to back up the data on your PCs regularly. You need to remember that a PC is really a mechanical component. It may seem like it's more of an electronic component, 
but it really is mechanical in nature in a lot of ways. For example, your hard disk drive has an electric motor that spins platters. Okay? Elect or mechanical components wear out over time. It's not a matter of if that hard drive is ever going to fail. It's a matter of when. It may be a long time from now, but it will fail at some point. It will wear out. If that happens, you need to make sure that that data is recoverable. To do that, you need to back up important data off the hard drive on a regular basis. Every single day is usually the norm in most organizations. We talked, first of all, about the preventative maintenance measures you can take to keep your system working properly. We talked about providing adequate ventilation. We talked about keeping cables orderly and unkinked and maintaining the environment where the PC is used as well as